You're welcome to Barracuda Bay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sam, and I'm the design manager for LEGO Ideas, and I have been working on the new set called The Pirates of Barracuda Bay. It's a pirate island where our characters that we remember from our childhood have been stranded for 30 years. Inside the wreckage you can find a tavern, sleeping quarters, there's a kitchen, and also the captain's quarters right at the very top. There's a swinging anchor, which may be a trap for intruders. The team that have been working on this set also have Milan Madge, who's also previously worked on LEGO Ideas. He's been the set designer designing this model. And we have graphic designer Austin, who has been creating all the new decorations and characters for this set. For me, Pirates, such a big icon was always the characters. That's what got me into it when I was a kid. As a graphic designer for this set, it's trying to relive those memories again. The lineup of the pirate crew, we just really wanted to make sure that we updated them without changing too much of the original icons. We have Redbeard, of course, the most iconic pirate in LEGO history. Since Redbeard has now aged a bit, we included a uh, bit of gray hair in his red beard. We also have the two twins that you always saw in every pirate ship with the red and blue stripes, and they're there again with their giant mustaches. We have one character that had an anchor on his chest, and now being shipwrecked for 30 years, he spent more time putting more more tattoos on him, including the beloved Popsy Parrot, and he also made sure that he has the Barracuda um, on the back tattooed also. LEGO Ideas is a platform for LEGO fans to be able to bring their own ideas to LEGO. When you upload your idea, if you can get 10,000 votes from other LEGO fans, it will be considered as a real-life LEGO set sometime in the future. We took uh, Pablo's original submission and we combined it with his vision, which was his childhood, which he grew up with Lego Pirates. And uh, why don't we take those two, his model and that original pirate theme, and put them together into one. Lego fans are going to be really excited uh, when they find uh, a lot of the new colours. So there's uh, a bolt hole, a few pieces of that in brown, which are the first time that we've been able to bring them in that size, in that color. We've got new color for the rigging. We've also brought these brand new sails, which have been really cool and really echo the classic design. You will notice that the skull and crossbones is a little bit different. I mean, it's still very much the original decoration, but now you'll notice that the skull is a little bit more closer to a minifigure head. A great decoration that we have is the one that we did for Pablo's father, the one that says Jose's Inn. It's a reference to his dad who brought him into Lego and also Pirates, but also the decoration, as many fans will notice, is a reference to a castle theme. The original inn had a sign that was very similar to that. Showing the finished model to Pablo for the first time was really an emotional experience because we've really been thinking about his original vision which was kind of a tribute to his his father who introduced him to Lego through Lego Pirate. Barracuda Bay which uh, is the first thing you build out of the box. You build this huge island has all these play features but one of the secret features which we're kind of trying to keep on the down low is uh, that you can recreate the original Black Seas Barracuda from the Lego set which is built in the brand new Lego style for a new generation having pirates come back, that was like a rallying call for so many fans saying, yes, we want that bit of Lego to return. This is probably one of the most enjoyable sets I've been on. It's, Lego is such an iconic thing to me. I was a fan coming into the company, and as a child, this brought back so many memories. It was just a joy being able to you know, tap into that once more.